Okay, guys, so we've made our way to somewhere in Ikoi to speak to um, a very enterprising entrepreneur who is doing amazing things in Nigerians' ride hailing um, space and also producing an innovation called The Greed. You will love this. Come with me. Beautiful thing about, about Greek codes. Um, as I speak with you, um, the federal government is speaking with us on considering, as actually right now considering adopting Greek code as a national digital addressing system for the country. So we're speaking with them already. Um, we've gone through the first and second stages. I think we're in the final stages now. W with all that data available to the government, you know, of course, don't forget that this is, a, again, a global system. You understand? So for Nigeria, if, if the government encourages the adoption, okay, what it does for government agencies, it makes government agency business easier. So let's start from the, the for the MDAs, you start from the direct service providers to the providers to government, you know, you know. So direct service providers, police. So the next time you have an issue and you need to call the police, you can just give the police the grid code and they don't need to call you, they can find you. Okay? Um, immigration, driver's license, KYC, know your customers, regulation of the CBN. The banks adopt it on your desk. The first step, give me your grid code. Put the grid code in, it shows you, bam, that's the man's house. You see, you've created a process. You've started something. One, you have shown that the man's address exists. The address he claims you have shown it exists, one. On the basis of that, you can start a service with a time cap. Now, within that time cap, you can now go and locate and confirm that he is actually there. Second process has started. Because right now, a lot of places are difficult to find. So, people give addresses and the KYC guys have so much challenge finding it. Eliminate that challenge. Lastly, by you have bound that customer legally you are bound him legally to his commitment that that is his property okay so if you go and it's not his property you can start a legal process against him it can contribute to the fact that ab initially was planning to defraud you you understand and then he has the responsibility to tell you when he changes his property if he doesn't tell you you have concrete evidence to show that this is where you told me you lived before. You know, so whatever follows on an account of that, you can then concretely say, yeah, you were wrong. You were greedy earlier on, and we said greed makes it easy for people to find you. One of the ways in business that we communicate our location is by business cards. Um, we also use invitation cards for social events. We use uh, flyers and billboards for marketing. We use our websites for online presence to distribute who we are and let people know where we are. So let's take a business card, for example. Right? You have your address on your business card. So all we're saying to you is put your grid code at the bottom of your address and it will just eliminates the complexity of people tracking you down. So there are four ways for that to be done with your grid code. So on the app, if you scroll up, you have search for location by grid code, make sure the country is Nigeria, and then you type the grid code here. When you're done, you click the navigate button. So let's try it and see what happens. The grid code on the business card is Alpha, 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 alpha. Automatically makes it capital. Put the dash on it. Then alpha, bravo, alpha, bravo, F, H. Okay? So I'm going to click the navigate button now. So done. It automatically tells you that that grid code is to our office in Yenegua. 
Our office is on Imbiama Yenegua. So our office is on Imbiama Yenegua Road, just by Ingwe Junction. So that's the first way to use grid codes to navigate your location. Now, with every grid code you generate, you also get a QR code. Now, with a QR code, all you have to do is just scan. With any QR code scanner or the embedded QR code scanner in grid. So, you just show the card to the scanner. It picks it up and immediately you get navigation, Google Maps, to where you need to be. On the grid code interface, this is your home, and that's your grid code. This is your office, and that's your grid code. And this is just anywhere you happen to be at any point in time. Those 20,000 places you go to, that nice um, fish joint, that nice year sport, the nice club, the nice event naming ceremony you went to, right? So you just generate a grid code and you store it. Now, if you wanted someone to come to your home and the person doesn't have the app, no objection. There are two ways you can send. This way, SMS, the person doesn't need the app to get the navigation. This way, the person needs the app to get the navigation. So let's use SMS. It offers the different ways you can communicate. So I'm squadron leader Adifola Juan retired. I invented grid codes. Thank you.